Getting a contract extension done with wide receiver Rashid Shaheed was a big must on the New Orleans Saints list, and they got it done. We got all that and a little bit of land yap for you on today's episode of Locked on Saints. You are Locked on Saints, your daily New Orleans Saints podcast, part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. What is good, Houdat Nation and Houdat family? I am your host, your friend, Ross Jackson, New Orleans native, your New Orleans Saints expert and credentialed member of the media covering those New Orleans Saints, as a senior writer and reporter over at Saints News Network on SI. And on today's emergency podcast, we're going to be breaking down the New Orleans Saints and Rashid Jaheed getting a contract extension done. How long will he be in New Orleans? What does it mean for the team? And why 2025's offseason is now here huge for the wide receiver position here in the Big Easy. We're going to start off with what the deal is and how the New Orleans Saints got it done here on today's episode of Locked on Saints. We appreciate you very much as always making us your first listen of the day every day and for being an everyday or here on the show, which is a proud part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. So when it comes down to what the New Orleans Saints got done here on this Saturday afternoon, uh, it was an important move for New Orleans. They get a deal done with Rashid Shahid that keeps him in the Big Easy through 2025. So what you're going to hear a lot of is that it's a one-year, $5.2 million contract extension, but that contract extension won't kick in until after the 2024 season. This was a really wise move by the New Orleans Saints, who already have Rashid Shahid under contract in 2024 on an exclusive rights free agency tendered deal. This is something we knew the New Orleans Saints were going to use for 2024, for sure. This was an easy way to get a deal done. Him coming in as an undrafted free agent, finishing up his first couple of years on that UDFA deal, and then entering the exclusive rights season, it's easy for the New Orleans Saints. All they got to do is say, yes, we want him back. And then boom, he's back in the building. No questions asked, no negotiations needed, no haggle straight to the deal. That will still be in effect for 2024. However, after the 2024 season, because that exclusive rights free agent tag or tender is pretty much just a one-year deal with a preset contract amount going into 2025, they would have had to do it all over again. Now, again, it would have been pretty simple. It would have been a restricted free agent deal for the 2025 season or going in to the 2025 season where the Saints could have either put a uh, right of first refusal tender a second round tender or a first round tender on Rashid Shahid's contract to bring him back in New Orleans. The issue is that those tenders, T-E-N-D-E-R, don't do that, uh, those tenders do allow for other teams to still potentially negotiate with Chris Olave. The tenders just effectively give you an opportunity to get something in return should you choose not to match a contract that he's being offered from another team. So you place a second round tender on them. A team puts an offer in on them. You don't match that offer. They sign them. You get their second round pick. First round tender, same thing. So typically teams will use a second round tender on a player more than they would use a first round tender. I think the last time we really saw a first round tender be used was a few years ago on Taysom Hill. And even that was out of the ordinary, but it showed you just how much the New Orleans Saints, A, wanted to get an actual deal done because typically you're not going to allow a player to actually play on a first round tender because of the amount of money, full guarantee, all that other stuff. And then B, they didn't want anybody coming after their guy in Taysom Hill. So New Orleans clearly didn't want anybody coming at their guy uh, in Rashid Shaheed either because they end up just signing him to a one-year $5.2 million deal that comes in just above where the second round RFA tender is expected to be in 2025, which is right around $4.97, $4.98 million, might come in a little bit higher than that before it's all said and done since it's based on like wide receiver contract averages and all these other things. So the nitty gritty of it all is that the New Orleans Saints didn't let this get away from them. They didn't wait. They showed Rashid Shahid, hey, you're wanted here in New Orleans. And now Chris Olave and Rashid Shahid, the Saints dynamic wide receiver duo, walk into 2024 and effectively have the keys to the castle in 2025 as well now as the team's top options at wide receiver. However, After 2025, things are going to get a little bit interesting. We're going to get to that here in just a moment. But I want to highlight first why this is also so important, not just from the aspect of keeping Rashid Shahid and Chris Olave together in New Orleans, which is very important, 
But this is important from the New Orleans Saints perspective as well. This keeps things a little bit cost controlled at the position and effectively opens the door now for them going into 2025 to maybe look at either in the offseason, whether it be through free agency or the draft, another wide receiver to maybe add to this group. I don't think they have to worry about it in 2024, but this gives them an understanding of what their costs are going to look like at the position going into the next two seasons. That's a really advantageous place to be if you're New Orleans, who may still be looking for another one of those big bodied possession receivers to add to this team after 2024. We'll see if they're in that position. Maybe they're happy with what A.T. Perry's development is. Maybe they're happy with Cedric Wilson, who is on a two-year contract, also through 2025, but maybe they're not, and maybe they want to add more talent there. We've always seen this team be interested in continuing to add talent. This may not be any exception at any rate. So in any case, it gives the New Orleans Saints a little bit of foresight in terms of how they want to address this position. The other thing is, you just had two straight 1,000-yard seasons, 1,000-yard-plus seasons from Chris Olave. You just had a 700-plus-yard receiving season from Rashid Shaheed, who was also an All-Pro and Pro Bowl returner for you in 2024. So yeah, keep the good players in the building. And this was a good call by the New Orleans Saints. It does, as I mentioned, though, set up 2025 as a season that is absolutely pivotal for the wide receiver position, let's break down why. We got that coming up for you as we continue on with today's episode of Locked on Saints, part of Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. Today's episode of Locked on Saints brought to you by our friends at eBay Motors. Passion, drive, and patience, the formula for winning championships is also the formula to keep your ride or die alive. And at eBay Motors, you're going to be able to find everything that you need to be able to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. So maybe you're looking for superchargers, roof racks, LED headlights, exhaust kits, and more. You're going to be able to find all of it over at eBay Motors. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has you covered. With over 122 parts and accessories for your number one ride or die. You'll always find exactly what you're looking for by heading over to ebaymotors.com. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride the first time, every time, or your money back because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. So it'll be all the prices that you want and the parts that you need, you can find over at ebaymotors.com today. It'll be easy to take your car up to that MVP level and start bringing home those big wins. Keep your ride or die alive today at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only, exclusions apply, and eBay guaranteed fit available only to U.S. customers. Today's episode of Locked on Saints brought to you by friends at LinkedIn Jobs. The New Orleans Saints doing an excellent job keeping the most important pieces of their business intact. Now you can go out and find the most important pieces for your small business by using LinkedIn Jobs. Follow some good examples out there because with LinkedIn Jobs, it's not just another job board you're going to have access to a sprawling network of working professionals that are looking for work and that are only looking for work at LinkedIn Jobs. 70% of users use LinkedIn Jobs and don't even visit other job posting sites. And 86% of small businesses get a qualified candidate within 24 hours of posting their job. So hire professionals like a professional on LinkedIn. In LinkedIn, make sure that all the small businesses have everything that you need. They even help you write job descriptions, making processes even easier and quicker as well. Post your job for free today at LinkedIn.com slash locked on NFL. That's LinkedIn.com slash locked on NFL to post your job for free. Terms and conditions apply. Let's get it. Who that nation? The New Orleans Saints are going to enter a big time offseason two years from now at wide receiver, no matter which way they slice it, dice it, or we choose to look at it. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just going to be a very, very important offseason following that 2025 year. Let's break it down. We appreciate you. As always, make a Locked on Saints your first listen of the day every day. Don't forget, we are your team every day. So you know what? Why not? I'll do another episode tomorrow. Well, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll knock down another one because I think that there's just so much that's going to continue to go on with this team ahead of training camp. Uh, I leave for California on Tuesday. We'll be breaking down training camp all year round, or all year round, all month uh, out in Irvine, California, all that. So let's hop on tomorrow and start taking a look at what it is that we're looking for in training camp and what we're expecting this New Orleans Saints team to want to prove going into uh, camp and throughout camp. So we'll start to break all that down in tomorrow's episode. Uh, But today I want to, I want to wrap up here by taking a look at, and this is going to be a quick episode, but I just wanted to wrap up here, taking a look at how important 
post-2025 is now for the New Orleans Saints. Uh, the Saints will have a big decision to make after this season at wide receiver. Um, and, and that's where I'm going to focus here is at wide receiver. The decision that they have to make after this year is do they pick up Chris Olave's fifth-year option? This should be one of the easiest yeses um, that we see from the New Orleans Saints, assuming he stays healthy through 2024 and plays just as well as he has played in the past. Even if he you know, doesn't exceed 1,200 receiving yards, even if he doesn't exceed 10 plus receiving touchdowns, that's still going to be a very easy situation for the New Orleans Saints to check that box and say, yes, we'll take the fifth year option for 2026. However, he doesn't actually have to play on that fifth year option. And so this is where things can get really interesting. Look just this past offseason at a guy like um, uh, uh, Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson had his fifth year option picked up. They were willing to go into contract negotiations with him. They had to put the pause down on that contract negotiation. Then they came back around to this offseason. Then they got his contract done before he played on that final year. So eh, this could be something similar that the New Orleans Saints look to undergo. You could pick up the fifth year option ahead of the fourth season, right? You have to. That's that's your option. Uh, so you pick it up ahead of the fourth season. He could play through the fourth season and then jump into the fifth year option in the fifth season, 2026 at that point, or between that fourth and fifth season, you can still get a contract extension done so that he never actually plays on the fifth year option, get him onto his contract extension. And then that way you're revisiting a third contract at a younger age than you would be revisiting uh, one year later if you played on the fifth year option. Now, neither choice is the wrong choice. You can go out there and play on the fifth year option uh, if you're the player, because maybe you feel like after four years, uh, you're still you know, looking at the uh, opportunity to go out there, get a fifth year, perform even better, get even more money, all those other things. Totally respectable, totally understandable. Uh, but a lot of guys don't mind actually taking that contract extension after year four and never playing on that fifth year option, get the money while you can get the money, which also makes perfect sense. And then if you ever feel that you need to go back to the drawing board, you can go back to the drawing board. You can set up your contract so that you know in two years, there's a an out or in three years, there's an out or whatever that allows you to be able to come back to the drawing board, revisit it, ask for more money, all these other things. Lots of different ways for you to go about and do that. That's why these guys pay agents and managers and all this stuff to get all of this done. Uh, so what the Saints are going to have to do now is potentially go into 2025's offseason. So after 2025, knowing that Rashid Shaheed is now off of his contract, right? Because 2025 will be the contract year for Rashid Shaheed now with this new, new extension which basically made it like a two-year deal, right? Because you had the exclusive rights free agent in 2024, and then you added on the one-year extension in 2025. That's the way you get around not being able to do a multi-year extension before a player has accrued three veteran seasons in the NFL. Here's a way to do that. Uh, so they'll have to deal with that. They'll have to deal with the fact that you could potentially get Chris Olave's contract extension done before his fifth-year option year, which would be 2026. So you try to get it done before then. And then you've also got a guy like Cedric uh, Wilson, who was signed to a two-year deal starting in 2024. So 2024, 2025, boom. What if he has two solid years with the Saints? What if A.T. Perry is looking really good after what would be his uh, second, third year in 2025? It's going to be a big year at the position, some big decisions that are going to have to be made. What would alleviate and help you make some of these decisions is actually reinvesting in the position again ahead of the 2025 season. So I would not be surprised to see maybe a heavy investment, whether it's via the draft or free agency, at the wide receiver spot, again, ahead of 2025, so that you can add maybe a different style of receiver to the room and all these other things and allow you to be able to have a little bit more flexibility going into that 2025 offseason where not all of your health at the position, right, or talent at the position is based upon, can I get a deal done with the guys that are going to be most important to it, right? So you can kind of raise your, your floor a little bit with that. So 2025 going to be a big year, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. The good news, though, no matter what, is that the New Orleans Saints keep their dynamic duo of Chris Olave and Rashid Tahit together for at least the next two seasons. And then they kind of get the opportunity to go back to the drawing board with them around the same time, which can be very helpful unless Olave decides to play on that fifth year option which could actually make things easier for New Orleans because then you can get to Olave a year after you've gone back to the table with, with Rashid Jaheed. So a couple of different ways that this can all work out. But the one thing that you know for sure is that the Saints have their two starting guys together, their bona fide top two wide receivers, their bona fide top two options in the passing game as a whole 
under contract for 2024 and 2025, giving Clint Kubiak at least another two years with this dynamic duo. So there you go. Good stuff by the New Orleans Saints to get this deal done. Going to be a lot of fun to watch in the offseason post-2025. And you know we'll be right here still in 2025, breaking it all down. I'll be like 5,000 episodes in, 4,000 episodes in by then. Let's get it. I can't wait. I appreciate you very much, as always, for joining us for an emergency episode of Locked On Saints here on the Locked On Podcast Network. Make sure you go and check out everything going on with Locked On LSU right now. I, I got to send you straight there. Matt Moscona covering it big time. LSU just keeps cleaning up on recruitment. Go and check it out. They just got a new wide receiver themselves that looks super exciting. So go and check that out. You can check out Locked on Pelicans as well with Jake Madison and much more here on the Locked on Saints podcast. We'll see you tomorrow here on the show. We appreciate you very much for making us your first listen. And of course, for making us a part of your day, part of your routine for saying yes to me and the show. As always, if you see me, please say hi. And if you need anything else around your New Orleans Saints in between these episodes, make sure you follow me on your favorite social media at Ross Jackson, N-O-L-A. Hit me up. Let me know how the family's doing them, how you live and let me know how you mom and them. And trust you, that nation, I'll holla at you. And make sure to go check out the homies over at NOLA by Nature. You can find all the links in the description as well.